Well, here it is. Another season was about to begin. Dave and I, we'd head north to the Turtle Flambeau Flowage. 19,000 acres surrounded by 35,000 acres of public lands, a true Wisconsin wilderness area. And this body of water, well, she's loaded with muskies and not a lot of pressure. Dave and I, we fished this system years prior. We just finished up a shoot and we're on our way to the Eagle River PMTT and decided to stop in and fish the turtle for a day. That one day, well, she showed us its potential. We had lots of action and a couple of get offs. Oh, you got to do a feel up to Boy, I'll tell you what, if Dave and I have any luck, it's all bad luck right now. It may have taken us four years to come back, but we're back. Like I said, we're back for a little redemption. Our plan was to meet up with the owner of Lake X Lures. John runs a musky guide service on the turtle. This is John's home water. So getting a chance to fish with him was something that Dave and I, well, we were really looking forward to. Here. Hey. How's it going, boys? Come here. Good, good. Yeah. Yeah. We're picking up a new sponsor of ours this this year. Everyone's heard of him. John from Lake X Lures. He's got great top waters. We're gonna go out and sample some of that tonight and see what happens. It's early yet, but we'll see what happens. All right. Sounds good, man. Yep. Welcome aboard. All right. That load up. I've seen them more on the corner too over there, going into that back big shallow bay, that weed yep. that one. That one's pretty good. Yep. different lake basins on the turtle flambo and it was all years ago there was tons of lakes around here and it's all flooded so you can really find a lot of different types of uh, water around here. Uh, there's 14 different main lake basins out here so a lot of different opportunities, different clarity, you got to change up your colors, change up your lures, you know with the different different temperatures and everything going on so yeah. we'll see what happens. Yeah. Keep grinding. Awesome, let's get after it. that weeds uh, 
All kinds of crap in there. Oh, there, there we go. Mus that's a small, small musky, dude. Oh, he got off. Oh. He's small, real little guy. Tell you what, small musky is a fun action. And I'll tell you what, that's on the new Musky Mayhem single bladed bucktail. And uh, you guys are going to want to check that out. That's a good start, I'll tell you what. Uh, we've been fishing only for, uh, I don't know, maybe an hour. And first sign of life, so that's good. We got a couple days to come and uh, stick with us. I'm hoping we're going to get a big one here. Little piker. Lots of little pikers. Dude, oh, that, that was, was a, a That was a hog. Stop that! That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Well, guys, here we are, day one, and uh, we're we're up north fishing, man, and um, had a first shot, real nice fish, and what I was using was a phantom. Um, glide bait. And I'll tell you what, that soft tail is an awesome bait. They love them up here. We're working really shallow weed beds and it's early in the year and the weeds are just starting to come up. So far we're having a lot of activity so things are really looking good. We've got overcast skies. We've got a nice wind so there's nice chop. I'm telling you what, it's just a matter of time till we hook up and put one in the put one in the bag here. Dang. What's the difference between good and great? Good tries to get it right every time. Great actually does. With Clip Notes, we save your haircut details so you always get exactly the look you want. Great clips, it's gonna be great. One lucky winner will be picked to fish with the guys from Keys Outdoors. The winner will win some awesome fishing gear and a $100 Quick Trip gift card. Just log into your Quick Rewards app, click the sweepstake icon at the bottom, then choose the Musky Adventure sweepstake. Every Quick Trip visit you have could be an entry. The more visits you have, the more chances you have to win. Good luck, and we hope to see you in our boat. thing. We never stop. You can't stop. This fish, well, it won't let you stop. It decides. We, well, we just have to be there when she does. the difference between good and great? Good treats you like a customer. Great treats you like a friend. From saving your haircut details and clip notes to saving you time with online check-in, Great Clips makes your life easier, just like a great friend should. Great Clips, it's going to be great. We've moved two fish. We had one small one uh, that I lost. It was a real shorty, and Mike lost a real nice one, probably mid-40s. And we're, we're doing spring tactics. It's we're looking for the freshest green weeds that are coming up in the system. With a couple of opportunities, we are now heading into the late afternoon of the first day on the turtle flambeau flowage. Short striking fish seem to be what we are contending with. Recommended lures for early spring muskies on this body of water is Lake X, 
a top water that throws a lot of water and has a great popping sound. Phantom Lure Soft Tail Glide Baits. A slower side to side action is what a mid 40 fish wanted earlier. Musky Mayhem New Single Girl, small profile with a fluted single blade that produces a crazy wobble. Lungeon Lures New 22 Short Crankbait, working it like a twitch bait with lots of pauses. In Musky Innovations Unweighted Magnum Dogs, allows for excellent long pauses with super hang time. Structure we are focusing on was new weed growth. The weeds were just starting to come up fresh and green, and the muskies were now setting up in these areas. After a couple of days of pounding the water, we had lots of action. There's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish, there's a fish. Come on. Uh, it's about 38. It seemed like these fish were going to take off and start eating at any moment. But we could only manage to land one small muskie. Mike? Mike? Is it? Yep. Bring her in. Want to net him? All right, guys, so our first little fish here, um, you know, not a giant, but like we've always said, we love them all, and it's a start. A muskie that actually wanted to eat, but let's let her go back. This is the future right here. So Dave and I, we decided to pull the pin and give it a couple days, and then come back and see if their moods have changed. Well, everybody, we're back. We were here uh, for about three days, a couple days ago, and the fish just weren't moving. We seen fish, we had opportunities, one fish we boated, and we lost a giant. The next couple days is gonna be bluebird, west winds. We had east winds before. I think the west wind is gonna send these fish off. So welcome back. We're up here on the turtle flambeau. Awesome fishery up here. You want to talk about getting away from it all? This is the place to go. Let's get fishing. We got a musky hooked up. He's not big. We're gonna hold him down here. And we just hit that single girl. Come up and clocked it. I met him myself. Because it's not monster. when you get the first fish of the season on and that is the first fish of the season for me on a single girl there we go there we go guys nice little fish first muskie of the trip we're into it about this is our fourth day of muskie fishing here on the turtle flambeau man I'll tell you what you, the action, we've been seeing lots of fish, and you just can't beat it with the beauty. It's so gorgeous here, and there's nobody fishing. 
Mike and I have, I don't think we've seen another musky fisherman. If so, it's only been a couple. So we're gonna get this fish back in the water. Let her go, let her grow up. It's nice and green, the water's still cool. Let me move this out of the way. trip those always feel great we've been really giving her here for many days in a row and I'll tell you what mentally you got to really stay with it for four days we have seen I don't know probably about eight nine fish but mentally you just got to always stay focused guys stay with it I mean we're constantly saying hey it's gonna happen it's gonna happen it's gonna happen we're seeing fish <laughs> Right here, right here. Oh, there you go. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got a window here or something. It's a little about the same size, actually. Hey, we'll take it. Just clobbered it. Oh, they're loving that single girl, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's bring her around here. In the bag. Yes. Oh my goodness. There we go. Tell you what, a little nicer fish. A little bigger than the last one. We'll take it. We've been working hard many days and boom, boom, just like that. Two fish back to back within minutes of each other. That's what you can, that's what you can expect here on the turtle. Nice fish, lots of different sizes we've been seeing guys. And what a fun, nice blast. On a single girl again, perch colored one. It's been hot. All right guys, here's what we're doing. Mike and I kind of switched off a little bit. This fish uh, was really kind of dragging a little bit, so that's what these big nets are for. These ranger nets with the rubber coating and a really nice help save their slime coat and everything on them. And just let them sit in these nets, let the water run into them. They're going to correct themselves. guys it's getting towards evening this is the prime time and sometimes you just don't have a lot of time uh, and this is a big big expansive body of water and we've got fish moving on this side that side and we're trying to go to these locations that are the most productive as far as numbers of fish so some of these weed beds that we've gone to have three four fish in them so we're, Mike and I are heading back right now to a spot where we raised some fish earlier Mike raised one I raised one we know there's fish there we were there a couple days ago there's a bunch of fish there so we're hoping to take a nice one tonight and stick with us the sun about to set, we would try one more spot before calling it a day. We were feeling pretty good about our decision on waiting a couple days to return. Two fish in the bag was just what we needed.
and we were just talking about these windows and it's really been this way this year short feeding windows and when I mean short I mean short you got to be on it right away or it's not going to happen and we witnessed that too many times in the past four days that we've been on this body of water but we're going to call it a night get something to sleep we're going to call it a night get something to eat get some sleep and we're going to be uh, uh, on the water first thing in the morning Got a good night's sleep last night. Um, stayed at a really good, uh, really good facility last night. It's called the Suburban. Um, set up just wonderful here. So Dave slept in his truck. I just woke up five o'clock. We're ready to rock as soon as I get a cup of coffee. There, got him. Nice one, dude. Nice fish. Real nice fish, buddy. Nice fish, David. Oh, that's a dandy. Take them. 
Guys, I'll tell you what, you know, Dave and I, like I said, it was well worth us coming back here. We had to take care of some business. We went back, we seen enough fish and moved enough fish, caught one, lost a dandy a couple days ago for us to say we got to come back. It's just a matter of time until these fish go off. Dave boated two last night, and now this one right here. Um, nice fish, too. All caught on a really amazing blade, the single girl by Musky Mayhem. It is awesome. Three fish already in the boat on that that same blade. They love the perch pattern here. Let's take a look at this girl. Oh, oh, she's heavy. She's a heavy fish, baby. This is the turtle flambeau. Thick, thick fish, man. I'm telling you what. It's early June. We've had a really tough spring, but now it's paying off big time. Again, get up here fish this secluded body of water it's got so much to offer mercer area has got a lot to offer well worth it she came up and clobbered that single girl i mean spanked it like there was no tomorrow awesome awesome fish dude let's let this girl go back oh. well you know they're thick when you can grab that tail and you can't touch she's a nice fish really nice turtle flambeau she's got her bearings can kind of loosen up your grip a little bit and see if she's gonna stay upright which she is so her gills are flaring which means she's pumping water pumping oxygen see how she's starting to get a little squirrely and here she goes Say goodbye, baby. Goodbye, girl. Woo! A little slime time on the old goat, baby. Keys outdoors. Here we go. Three fish in the boat, four fish on this body of water since we've been here. And what's really cool about all this is, guys, is the size of fish. Anywhere from 30 inches up to a mid 40, and there's 50s in here as well. Just a very diverse body of water. Great, great fishery. It doesn't get a lot of pressure. There's tons of opportunities up here in the Northwoods, so check it out.